Hello everybody, today we are talking Ferrari and typically when we've talked Ferrari in the past we've talked about Hot Wheels and uh, that was good reason for that was because Mattel had the exclusive rights to the Ferrari license in, uh, in that scale and die cast toys and um, they sure took advantage of it. Every year you'd see a new Ferrari casting, um, you'd see several recolors, you'd see a Ferrari 5 pack and then you'd see obviously several premium versions as well year after year after year and uh, these are a couple of uh, the ones that I have that I that are some of my favorite and fairly recent castings like the Ferrari 599XX which that version was a uh, the Speed Machines version you had the Super Treasure Hunt that was made a couple years ago and then he, or three or four years ago and then they did another version uh, another Super Treasure Hunt just what a couple of years ago or maybe last year and then this was another of the Ferrari castings I really like the Ferrari FF but all that came to an end what a year or two ago when the exclusive license left Mattel and uh, made its way over to these guys Barago who are owned by Maisto and um, I know we talked about it when the uh, when the announcement was made we talked about it a little bit about these models and what people thought of them but we never really featured them well cool thing is that the folks over at uh, Barago have given us a chance to showcase them and they've sent a few over for uh, me to put here on the YouTube channel and on the blog and kind of let you guys decide uh, what you think of them and um, look I miss I miss the Hot Wheels Ferraris just as much as anyone else does I've made that uh, I've, I've definitely made that point on the blog at the same time it's kind of exciting to see someone else take over and um, and kind of hopefully take it to a new level and I know that the people over at Barago and Maisto feel confident uh, that they can do that. So we're going to look at some of the things they sent, some of the Ferrari lines that they've sent. And like I said, just uh, let me let me know what you think. They sent uh, essentially three different scales and we're going to do two parts. We're going to look at these models in package, essentially in package, and then um, here on as part one on the YouTube channel. And then part two will be a little bit later when we open these up and photograph in the Lamley studio and put them up. So we're just going to walk through these models that they sent and uh, look at them in the packaging. So they've got several several different models. You can see I've got quite a few of them here that they've sent. I'm going to put them uh, up here and we'll walk through them. So you've got uh, anything from the more play toy oriented 164 scale We'll open one here on the YouTube channel, and or maybe a couple, and kind of get an idea of what they're like, and you know, metal and plastic and whatever else. And then they also sent um, a 143 scale, a couple 143, and then this uh, this little monster right here, 118 scale um, Ferrari. Uh, what is it, La Ferrari? And uh, we're going to look at all of those. So let's start with the uh, with this smaller, with the race and play Ferraris. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off for now. Um, well, let's walk through them real quick. So, I don't know if this is the complete line. They may be able to tell me that and I can make a note of it a little bit later on or maybe in the blog. But I'm going to move in just a little bit just so you can get an idea of what we're looking at. Um, so, first one is a 458 Spider. Um, these are all, I believe, in red and all fairly recent uh, Ferrari models uh, or Ferrari, you know, the actual cars. I don't see any classics. Maybe that's coming, um, but right now it's a pretty current Ferrari. So the 458 Spider um, is one that uh, I think we're all familiar with. So let me just walk through these quickly. 458 Spider, the La Ferrari. Now, what stores to get these in? I know I've seen them. I think in Toys R Us. I haven't seen them in any uh, any WalMarts or anything like that. But if you guys have seen these around. Uh, definitely leave a comment as to, to where you've seen them and where you can buy them so that people can uh, can go look for them. As far as the blister, the packaging goes, short card. Um, blister is pretty compact and pretty uh, pretty secure, and there's a secondary piece in the uh, in the blister itself so the car stays intact. Here is the F12 Berlinetta, which I think is a gorgeous car. 458 Special. These all have front and rear um, tampos and some racing stripes if they need it. 
um, including the Ferrari emblem on the side, which from what I can see from the Hot Wheels Ferraris, here's the F50, which is more of a classic Ferrari. Um, I think Ferrari re as requires the side emblem uh, on that front panel. I can show you the front headlights, tail lights, and rear. 430 Scuderia, I hope I said that right, Scuderia. That's what happens when you mostly read. There's that stripe, which I think is a signature part of the uh, Scuderia or Scuderia. Here's the California T and more of a, almost a Spectre Flame, I know that's not their term, but uh, maroon. Plastic base it looks like. 599 GTO, not the XX. And I haven't seen an XX, so they go with the GTO, which followed the XX, which is more of that racing speed model. F40 Competizioni. Competizioni. which predates the F50. Gotta have an Enzo, and they do. I'm assuming these are gonna be, these are more expensive than, uh, here's the, uh, oh, the challenge, I don't wanna say it, Stradali. Racing Stripe. Um, these are going to be, I think, more than a dollar. But let's look. Another way we would want to pull out. Let's see. We've got. Um, they didn't do an FF, so let's pull out the 599 GTO because that's uh, comparable to the 599 XX that I have out the Hot Wheels. So, like I said, they do this little thing back here on the packaging. This, and I assume that's to pop out and open. But I'm just going to open it how I normally open something that's just to rip it open um, so it's pretty secure it's not going anywhere okay so let's uh, focus that down a little bit So there we are. It is larger. Try and get that more focus. It is definitely larger than the uh, Hot Wheels version. Just try to put those next to each other. So I think it's probably a little larger than the Majorettes as well, but um, so you can kind of see how big it is compared to the. Hot Wheels version. Now, obviously, they're different. Um, they're different Ferraris. They're similar in style. Um, probably not fair for me to put the uh, real riders version there, but there you go. So, like, they have the you know they're able to put uh, the two colors on that more like that gray at the top, that kind of um, carbon fiber look. Um, the wheels, I'd say, are very uh, play like. Not as detailed as the Hot Wheels wheel. The casting itself, I think, is really detailed. I feel like the wheels could probably be improved, maybe even a little wider, so they look, so they fill out those wheel wells a little bit. But I think the detail on the casting is there. Um, plastic base, screw and rivets, which is kind of nice. And as far as um, its stance, I don't think there's. It's you know a little higher, but it's also a larger model. I get a better sense if I so I don't think that's overly high on the stance so those are the uh, those are the play Ferraris um, for uh, little Billy who wants to play with his Ferraris there they are let's look at these 143 scale um, models as well so this is how they come packaged 
I really like the packaging, kind of a cardboard, and then they slide out there. In uh, this is the uh, Special, the 458 Special, comes in this uh, plexiglass case, which I assume can be opened, but. I don't know if I should even try it. Anyway, you get a sense of what it looks like. Obviously more detailed, rubber tires, um, a lot more detail in these models than in the play versions, and I think they look pretty good. I wish I could. I can't. So, I'll have to try and open these for when I uh, photograph them for the blog. But, um, Highly, highly detailed, 143 scale. Um, if you look, the detail is in the engine. I'm assuming there might be some in the base as well. And then the uh, interior also, red interior, detailed interior. So that is the 458 Special. And the other one I have is pretty nice. The La Ferrari. One of the things I, I was not happy with the Hot Wheels La Ferrari. I don't think it captured the, the detail of it, and I think it was a little blocky, a little boxy. Uh, didn't have the sexy lines of the of the actual La Ferrari. This one definitely does. Now obviously two different scales and uh, this one's highly more much more detailed than the um, than the play version which I think I have. Yeah right here. Back right there. Although they did were they were able to get some uh, rear view or rear view mirrors in there but not sticking out as much as the actual model does. Again, interior detail is there, engine. So it's pretty nice for 164. Again, I don't know what the retail cost of these will be, um, or is, if you find them, but I think that's pretty good. So while you're looking at that LaFerrari, and um, I don't think this is one I can open either. Oh, I can. So I gotta figure out how to open the other Ferrari. There you go, that's better. Let's see that maybe push that down a little bit. And I will unscrew these. Those rear view mirrors look look pretty good. I don't know how sturdy they are, but not bad. When you're just working through this, it can get a little boring, so I hope that uh, at least you're enjoying looking at this. But that is the La Ferrari. We're going to try and get even more so. Now I'm going to pull back a little bit. Probably not fair to have that ignition model in there, but um, all right. So this is kind of cool. This comes really well packaged. I don't want to knock over this one, so I'm going to move it back. This comes in its own box. Um, you can open it this way, and this box stays intact, and the model comes in styrofoam. By the way, here's what the front looks like. Cool artwork, I think. Turn this off. Okay, are we getting everything in the shot here? This is beautiful. And I'm going to pause for a second because it is embedded in this styrofoam and I think I'm going to try and get it out. But I guess before I pause you can see how it's packaged. It's in styrofoam. It has the uh, label there. I mean look how beautiful that is. Highly detailed in a matte black. Um, 
doors do open to unveil a pretty detailed interior. Let's see if we can get this open. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I uh, finagled things a little bit, and as it turns out, um, the model is attached to the uh, to the styrofoam by the way of this uh, plastic piece and some screws. So it wasn't hard to uh, get it off. I just had to unscrew it with my trusty screwdriver. And this is what it looks like. Now I think that is beautiful. Now I don't collect 118 scale. Um, I'm willing to take a couple if, uh, or to buy a couple if they're, um, you know, if they're of a car I really, really like. And this La Ferrari is beautiful. Now, again, I don't know how much this costs. I don't know how much it compares to some of the other um, high, high end um, 118 scale, what would be uh, Auto Art and Ignition. And I know there's a ton of other brands. But this is really, really nice. And um, I know it's kind of big for my shot. I'm used to some smaller cars, but if I can, I'll try and show some of the detail. You can see the um, the brakes, you can see the wheels on this, rubber tires, the uh, what are the five spoke rims, um, obviously the uh, mirrors, here's the rear. Try and focus that better. Here we go. And it opens to unveil a pretty detailed engine. And the door is open. And so does the front, what would you call it? The not necessarily a bonnet, but whatever storage the Ferrari actually has. So, if you look inside, let's see, there we go. You can see some of the detail. And it moves around, it's so large, it's in and out of focus. But that is the 118 scale Barago La Ferrari, which I think is really well done, and I'm going to enjoy having this. And I'm going to have to find a nice little spot for it. Um, but uh, yeah, I really like it. Highly, highly detailed. Um, you know, and quite different than its 143 counterpart. And uh, much, much different, where do I put that, than its 164 counterpart, but they all have different purposes. So, anyway, that is what to expect from Ferrari now, is the Barago Ferrari line. Uh, three different scales, there's going to be play sets, there's going to be all kinds of things to come out. Let me know what you think of it. Are you a yay or nay? Is it something you're going to collect? Um, if you are going to collect, what scale are you going to collect? And, um, you know, how does this compare to the Hot Wheels? Are you excited about it? Uh, are you excited about the um, what might come and, and what models? Let us know. I'm curious. Uh, I think they're doing a really nice job. I think they're doing it their way, and I think that's cool. It's different. And um, I think there might be some really nice stuff we see from, uh, from Barago and Maisto in the coming weeks, months, and years. So I'm looking forward to see how it turns out. Let me know. Talk to you later.